Your child uses a food pump for all or some feedings. Your child's feeding needs can change over time. When your child's feeding needs change, the doctor writes new directions for your child's food intake. The doctor can give these directions in a number of different ways and might not give you information you need to set your pump. We will show you how. There are three key numbers for the food pump. Dose, time, and rate. Dose is the measured amount of food you put into the feeding bag. Some food pumps call this amount the volume to be delivered or the VTBD. Time is the length of time the pump takes to deliver the measured amount of food. Rate is the speed at which the pump delivers the measured amount of food. A way to remember these three key numbers, dose, time, and rate, is to think about driving a car. The distance a car drives is like the dose on a food pump. The speed the car goes at is like the rate on a food pump. The amount of time the car ride takes to get to your location is like the amount of time the food pump takes to deliver the food. Now let's get into the math. The dose or amount of food in the feeding bag divided by the length of time to deliver the food equals the rate the pump delivers the food. Dose divided by time equals rate. Dose divided by time equals rate. Dose divided by time The rate the pump delivers the food multiplied by the length of time to deliver the food equals the dose of food in the feeding bag. Rate times time equals dose. Rate times time equals dose. Rate times time equals dose. Rate the measured amount of food in the feeding bag divided by the rate or speed at which the pump delivers the food equals the length of time to deliver the food. Dose divided by rate equals time. Dose divided by rate equals time. Dose divided by rate equals time. Dose, time, and rate are related. If you know two of the numbers, you can figure out the third number. If one number stays the same and you change the second number, the third number must change. Make sure you enter the rate in the display window on the food pump for the rate, and dose in the display window on the food pump for dose. We will now go through some common ways doctors give feeding instructions and work out dose, time, and rate for each instruction. The instructions from your child's doctor might not match our examples, but understanding the examples can help you as you work out the dose, time, and rate for the food pump. To give a feeding, you need to know the dose in milliliters and the time in hours. If the doctor gives you the numbers in ounces or minutes, you need to convert the numbers. One cup equals eight ounces, and one ounce equals 30 milliliters. Since one ounce contains 30 milliliters, you must multiply an amount measured in ounces by 30. For example, one cup equals eight ounces. Eight ounces times 30 milliliters equals 240 milliliters. Half a cup equals four ounces. Four ounces times 30 milliliters equals 120 milliliters. One fourth of a cup equals two ounces. Two ounces times 30 milliliters is 60 milliliters. Since 60 minutes make up one hour, you must divide a feeding time measured in minutes by 60. For example, 15 minutes divided by 60 minutes equals 0 0.25 hours. 30 minutes divided by 60 minutes equals 0 0.5 hours. 
45 minutes divided by 60 minutes equals 0 0.75 hours. Hang time is the length of time formula or breast milk in a feeding bag can safely be outside of the refrigerator. Four hours is the maximum hang time for breast milk in the type of formula infants receive. The doctor says to feed your child 30 milliliters every hour for 18 hours a day. 30 milliliters every hour is the rate. 18 hours is the length of time the child continuously receives food every day. Because four hours is the maximum hang time, you must divide the 18 hours of continuous feeding the doctor wants by four hours. This works out to four four-hour feedings in one two-hour feeding. This means you put food into the feeding bag five times. The first four times you put in the amount of food the pump can completely deliver in four hours. The fifth time you put in an amount of food the pump can completely deliver in two hours. Now how much food should you put into the feeding bag? You know the rate and time so you can figure out the dose. Rate times time equals 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 dose. For the four hour feedings, 30 milliliters multiplied by four hours equals 120 milliliters. For the two hour feeding, 30 milliliters multiplied by two hours equals 60 milliliters. You now have the numbers for rate and dose to enter into the pump. When you move from the four hour feeding to the two hour feeding, you must change the number in the pump for dose. On some pumps, you change the number for volume to be delivered. For this example, keep the number the same for the rate. The doctor told you to give your child one container of formula in 45 minutes, three times a day. The doctor told you the total amount of food to give your child in 24 hours. The pump requires that you measure food in milliliters. See the label on the formula container to know if it holds either 237 milliliters or 250 milliliters of formula. For this example, each container contains 250 milliliters. The doctor told you how much food to put in the feeding bag the dose. The doctor told you the time in minutes. The pump requires that you measure the time in hours. Since there are 60 minutes in an hour, 45 minutes divided by 60 minutes equals 0 0.75 of an hour. Now you can figure out the rate. Dose divided by time Dose divided by time equals rate. Dose divided by time equals rate. So, 250 milliliters divided by 0 0.75 hours equals 333.33 milliliters per hour. You can only use whole numbers with the pump. You can round a fraction of a rate up or down to the nearest whole number. So the rate in this case is 333 milliliters per hour. The doctor says to give your child 50 milliliters per hour for 10 hours overnight and 150 milliliters three times a day by mouth. The doctor also says if your child does not eat the 150 milliliters by mouth, give the missing amount in a 20 minute bolus feeding immediately after the child is done eating by mouth. For the overnight feeding, the doctor told you the pump should deliver 50 milliliters every hour, which is the rate. The doctor also gave you the total feeding time, which is 10 hours. The maximum hang time for the feeding bag is four hours. So 10 hours divided by four hours equals 
So you need to place food in the bag three times for the 10 hour feeding time. The bags for the first two feedings each take four hours to empty and the bag for the third feeding takes two hours to empty. To know how much food to place in the feeding bag for different lengths of feeding, you need to work out the dose. Rate times time equals 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 dose. So, 50 milliliters an hour multiplied by 4 hours equals 200 milliliters. And 50 milliliters an hour multiplied by 2 hours equals 100 milliliters. During the daytime feedings, the doctor said if the child eats less than the 150 milliliters for each feeding, give the missing amount of food in a 20 minute bolus feeding. A bolus feeding is any feeding that takes one hour or less for the pump to deliver the food. Give your child the bolus immediately after they finish eating. For the first daytime feeding, the child eats 85 milliliters by mouth. You must give the missing amount of food, 150 milliliters, minus 85 milliliters equals 65 milliliters. So the bolus feeding is 65 milliliters through the child's feeding tube. The doctor said to deliver the bolus feeding in 20 minutes, the time. The pump requires you to measure time in hours. 20 minutes divided by 60 minutes equals 0.33 hours. You need to work out how fast the pump must deliver the food, the rate. Dose divided by time equals rate. Dose divided by time equals rate. Dose divided by time equals rate. So 65 milliliters divided by 0 0.33 hours equals 196.96 milliliters an hour, which rounds out to 197. For the second daytime feeding, the child eats 110 milliliters by mouth. You must give the missing amount of food, 150 milliliters minus 110 milliliters equals 40 milliliters. So, 40 milliliters through the child's feeding tube. You need to work out how fast the pump must deliver the food, the rate. Dose divided by time equals rate. Dose divided by time equals rate. Dose divided by time equals rate. So, 40 milliliters divided by 0 0.33 hours equals 121.21 milliliters an hour which rounds to 121 milliliters an hour. For the third daytime feeding, the child eats 150 milliliters by mouth. Since the child ate all the formula, you do not need to give a bolus feeding. That is the end of our examples for how to figure out rate, dose, and time. Remember, keep a note with these key reminders where you can easily find them. Rate multiplied by time equals dose. Dose divided by time equals rate. Dose divided by rate equals time. One cup equals eight ounces, and one ounce equals 30 milliliters. Make sure you check that you are entering rate in the food pump display window for rate, and dose in the food pump display window for dose. During and after a feeding, watch your child for signs of physical discomfort or crying. Watch for gas or vomiting or diarrhea. If your child has any of these, contact your child's doctor.